Are you tired of using a thousand pans? Would you prefer using heat from the sun and steam with no skin on your chicken to make the best meal ever? Well, have I got the product for you! Cooking for the family is a lot of work. Cooking is so hard. For the family, it is so hard. Especially when you're cooking tortellini, burgers and red sauce with mushroom, a bunch of chopped up broccoli, and making french fries. That was a normal menu in every American home. It usually involves a lot of oil. And they always, they start right away. You're gonna lose weight. This product will make you lose weight because the other products make you use oil. And you're always left with a big... This person for a family used one, two, three, four pans. This is all about to change thanks to a new, healthier, easier way to cook. Cook entire meals for four or more in one convenient pan. Fry, roast, and bake with little or no oil. Cook frozen foods without waiting for them to defrost. Cook dry pastas immediately without waiting for a pot of water to boil. And save money by replacing an entire cook. It all, that's the thing, they always replace everything. They replace everything. This will replace your wife. And the, the thing I love about the turbo cooker, because this was my favorite infomercial when I was a kid with my cousin Brian, they always have to infuse some sort of like NASA-esque technology that the people in the labs, I, you just sort of imagine like thousands of people at labs like typing and writing away and tinkering at metal and toys until they get it and what they figured out is steam the innovation responsible for these great results is becoming the latest cooking sensation i know that the last time we did this we watched the magic wand this does seem more usable i'm not saying it's great the bar <laughs> is so low the magic wand is sitting in a rubble of hell so this is like still at like near the earth's core that's how far down we are but, but also the infomercials because this is my era of infomercial the early aughts they got real slick Right, so now uh, we got we get rid of the audience. We don't need a bunch of people. Ooh, ah, right. So audience is gone. We have technology infused things, and we have a better set. So now we have like a real window with real light coming through. The turbo cooker developed over several years. See, there we go. That's the technology developed over several years. The secret behind the turbo cooker is Chef Randall. Chef Randall eats children. Those are the eyes of a demon. If I woke up in the middle of the night and saw this man staring at me, I would die where I sat. Yeah half the time and and why is everything a rush everything is a rush just get fast food complete sunday dinner with potatoes and vegetables a, a beef roast the normal time. <laughs> it's not only possible it's now available for the first time to the general public at who was it available to before? It's available to the general public. Was this just for the Illuminati? Was this just for the kings and queens of Spain? Who was the turbo cooker for? The turbo cooker. Let's see how it can help us in the kitchen. Let's see. This man's outfit just i'm warm thinking about how much i hate what he's wearing he's like 50 he's like probably 43 he's got his belt all the way up to his neck he looks like he's wearing a diaper and just reads loser and i know you're not supposed to say people are losers or nerds anymore i mean i have a pokemon book sitting behind chris who's filming this this man is a nerd pokemon behind me this man is a boob ready to cook I've got a three pound chicken right here with potatoes and carrots. Now the cookbook says 350 degrees, got it? One hour, right there. And I, I just don't have one hour out of my day. I do not have an hour out of my day. Over here, a big pot of water, it's on high heat. I'm waiting for it to boil. When it does, in goes the pasta. Next to it is the pasta sauce, that's on- He looks like an ass. Medium heat, right here, the frying pan, Filled with oil, ready to go, because I'm gonna fry some pork chops. What is this dinner? Pork chops, chicken, pasta? What are you doing? This isn't a meal. Yeah, you're using too many bowls and plates and pans, because you're making a Thanksgiving dinner. This isn't 1930 anymore, where Irish immigrants are having 61 kids. I do have one problem. Pork chops are frozen. Oh, the pork chops are frozen. Okay, you've got a lot more problems than your pork chops being frozen, buddy. You're the host of a turbo cooking commercial. See, cooking for the family gets involved. 
especially when everyone likes something different. Well, that's not how you raise a family. Dinner with the family, you, you're, if your child is seven years old, they're not making decisions on what we eat, okay? Mom and dad, or mom and mom, or dad and dad, or mom, or mom, mom, dad, 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 mom, uncle, aunt, Ronald McDonald, they are making the decisions for you. Well, now there's a new foolproof way of cooking that's not only fast and healthy, it pr fast and healthy. It simply eliminates all these problems I have right here. Problems. And I don't know about you, I'm ready for it. Let's join a familiar face who always has something new to Now this woman, this woman who is about to grace the stage is a gay icon. She doesn't know it. He certainly doesn't know it, but we know it. Kathy Mitchell. Kathy Mitchell. Kathy Mitchell was the queen of infomercials in the early aughts. She's famous for most people making the dump cakes. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Joe. Kathy. First of all, she has no motion in her eyes. No. <laughs> I understand. You know, getting to me on the table is a tedious time-consuming job. Now, I want you to keep in mind when you watch this because they're very slick. They do make it seem so easy. You can make corn and chicken together. You can make salmon and muffins together. But there's also... 106 different turbo cookers in this kitchen for them to use. I mean, these things are huge. If I saw this from even five feet away, I'd call NASA and say, I've seen a UFO. I would be in the Congress hearings talking about how I witnessed a UFO because they look like a UFO. There's a hundred of them. So of course it's easy to just look at how easy it is. What? You have a hundred of them. And you gotta do it every night. Mm -hmm. Well, help is here. Good. It's called a turbo cooker. Cooking every night? Yeah, that's how we live. How lazy do we wanna be? Eliminate some mess. Eliminates the guesswork and can get a meal on the table in under 15 minutes. You're gonna roast beef in 15 minutes? What are you bringing it next to the sun? Take a look at this. You smell that? Yeah. So, I mean, this is slicker. It's not a, a coked out British man running around foaming at the mouth. We've got like a drag queen-esque woman, Kathy Mitchell. Her nails are done. She has sunspots all over her hands because she lives in Florida or Arizona. But everything's a little more beautiful. Italian chicken. What does that mean, Italian chicken? Io vorrei sapere. Ma che significa un polo italiano? Ma che cos'è? With pasta and sauce. All in the same pan in under 15 minutes. Outstanding. And what about- Under 15 <laughs> I mean, she, so she's like, it's so easy. <laughs> It's huge. The boulder they moved for Jesus in his cave was smaller. All at one time. Well, take a look here. I've got these muffins look awful. These muffins. If you said, "What does a deer brain look like?" I would say these muffins. Fat-free cranberry muffins. Wait a minute. You baked muffins. Oh, so he plays the idiot. Wait a minute. Wait. Fat-free muffins. Like he's. In ten minutes. They're Aren't brown, they beautiful? They're moist. Oh, they are. But that's. They're moist. You didn't even try it. <laughs> Well, because at the same time I baked my muffins, I steam fried my eggs at the same What is this meal? Same time in the same pan. Okay. <laughs> now you're talking- He's laughing. <laughs> I have a meal here that'll satisfy the pickiest family. Mm. I've got fish right there on the top, but look underneath. Burgers and chicken. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Fish with the chicken and burgers. Won't the chicken and burgers smell and taste fishy? Not a problem. No. Tell me why, Kathy. Because I have something later to prove it to you. Oh, we're gonna prove it later. We've looked at four turbo cookers so far, and they're huge. They're literally a mini oven on your stove. They are huge. What are you putting in that chicken? I have the same three pound chicken here that I have removed the skin. This is gonna be the driest worst tasting chicken ever. Oh, that takes away about half the calories of that. Get rid of those calories. How long would it take you to rip skin off a cold chicken? Any sacrifice of flavor, because now I'm gonna put my seasoning right on the chicken. Get it pretty well covered there. And now we're just gonna put that chicken. Her seasoning was a couple sprinkles of what? You know, I think if you cooked skinless chicken on a stovetop, it'd end up tough and dry. Well, that was before the turbo cooker. Yeah. Because remember, with a turbo cooker, we're going to use water. Now, I know you think of water for steaming. Sure. But with a yeah. turbo cooker, this water is also going to allow us to bake, roast, and fry. So we're just going to add it to the bottom. Now, watch all I do. Turn on the burger to high. Mm -hmm. And remember, we're cooking in layers, so I'm going to also be able to cook my stuffing at the same time. Where'd you get that stuffing from? How'd you make that stuffing? Don't you have to buy a bunch of ingredients to make stuffing? All we do is put on the cover and it's ready to go. You're roasting on a stove. She just looked at him with her eyes closed. Put on the cover and it's ready to go. I think we 
we need to make you a believer. Let's start with breakfast now. Okay, now we're on our seventh turbo cooker. Here I've got some hash brown potatoes. These were frozen when I started, and they've been frying in one quarter of a cup of water, not a drop of oil. What are they seasoned with? Because if it's just frozen hash browns and water. I want you to see that you don't need oil to brown potatoes. Look how beautiful those are. Gorgeous. Aren't they beautiful? Yes. So we're just going to flip those over, and I'm just going to flatten them out a little bit, and I'm sure you had to make what we call at our house a breakfast pizza. It's kind of an all-in-one breakfast, real easy way to cook. So I'm going to first add four beaten eggs. This is a Kathy Mitchell special. This I is a see. special, that's right. You know, it gets Kathy Mitchell out of the kitchen. That's my favorite. She hates him. Things. I don't like to hang around the kitchen watching eggs. Hang around the kitchen? You've got 15 turbo cookers and you're selling them in a kitchen. You live to be in the kitchen. Sure. I've got a little breakfast meat here. This is, in this case, it's a little brown and served. Who cooks the sausage? Sausage. Okay. You can use whatever you like. And a little bit of cheese. Kind of a good breakfast omelet. All right, now we're just gonna put back on the cover. I'm not gonna lie. It looks good. But see, it's so confusing because there's certain recipes you have to, you can only use the recipes in the recipe book because there's certain recipes you have to open the valve, you have to close the valve. So my question is, what if you're cooking something you don't know what valve to do? You can't like impromptu cook. You gotta stick to the 10 recipes that they give you. Beautiful full color cards. Every single one of them tells you everything you need to know about temperature and timing so anybody can cook with a turbo cooker. Perfect. And I'm also gonna close that valve. A valve? The valve is what controls how you cook in the turbo cooker. Let me give you a for instance. Right here, I've been browning some ground beef. Now when you brown meat, you do it with the valve open. That allows the steam to escape sure. so the meats will brown. Right. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do in here is make you an all-in-one casserole, taco casserole. So to that brown ground beef, I'm gonna <gasps> add a little bit of taco seasoning. Now I she didn't mix it. Pasta over there, waiting for that water to boil. When you use a turbo cooker, we're just gonna add dry pasta. This is hard to understand because I always well everything for you is hard to understand. Evidently, a belt is difficult for you to understand. The turbo cooker, we're eliminating that step, so you don't have that extra oh. pan. You don't have all the time of waiting for the water to come to the boil. And a little bit of tomatoes, just a couple of cans of tomatoes. This is these are not fancy recipes. These are no, they're not fancy at all. You're not seasoning anything. It's ground meat with no seasoning, pasta with no seasoning, and then taco seasoning, but you didn't mix it. So it's just a layer. And then cold tomatoes. Now we're just gonna give that a little bit of a stir. Right. Now, okay. my vegetable, in this case, some frozen corn. Multi-corn. Some frozen corn. Okay, so now we just replace the cover, okay. close the valve. I could watch this all day. How to bake in the turbo cooker. And Jesus Christ, we're on our 800th turbo cooker. And I'm gonna bake some very special. So they look like they're in Area 51. I took an ordinary cake mix, okay. but I left out the oil. Keeps it a lot healthier. Much healthier. And I replaced the water in the mix with Diet Cola. That... <laughs> The oil isn't there for fat. The oil is there for moisture and substance. There's no oil in Diet Coke. <laughs> what? You're just gonna eat like a hard Diet Coke flour sugar. Oh. Make give them a nice special taste, but I'm not through yet because I'm also gonna make a oh. topping for these cupcakes. <laughs> oh God, cherries. I don't like cherries. I'm gonna add the rest of the can of cola. I thought we're supposed to be losing weight. There's so much sugar. Cola will release the steam I need to bake my cupcakes and it'll cook down to a nice thick sauce and everything will be done all at the same time. Put on the rack, we're gonna lay in those cupcakes and I remember earlier you asked me about flavoring. Yes, yes. All right, here's the deal. I've got an onion. I'm gonna set it right on the rack no. next to those cupcakes. I'm gonna try these in a little bit. And I'm gonna try these in a little bit. But you know, with you, I bet tasting is believing. Come on over here, I think it's time. Oh, here we go. Taste you start tasting some Yay. food. Yay. <laughs> what are these hosts? Adolescent acting host. He's got children. Yay! <laughs> this was our she hates him. I'm on Kathy's side. I like her a lot. Are you ready? I remember. Okay. Yes. Oh. Take a look at that. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I would eat that right now. I mean, I'm also hungry, but I would eat that. It's perfectly Good. cooked. Oh. I just watched him come. He just ate eggs and sausage and cum. I mean, you used water, you had steam. Why aren't these hash browns soggy? Let me explain it to you this way. Let me explain it to you again, you fucking idiot. I already told you about the valve, and I already told you that the water makes it fry, but you weren't listening. After the 800th turbo cooker, I'm still explaining it to you. You're an idiot. Here's our casserole. Mm. Look at that. Now that corn is perfectly done. Right. 
and I'm going to pull that off so you can Good. see Under. the pasta, because you were the one that was doubting whether you could cook the pasta. I think you'll find it's perfect. This is so tasty. This cook... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't have room in this apartment. I want one. We have to get one. We decided to give turbo cookers to a number of people to use in their own home. This is my favorite. The interviews of people who have gotten a turbo cooker. Imagine they're going to use footage of someone be like, I didn't like it. Didn't work for me. That can take frozen. Oh, Cynthia Pirtle. She's an administrator. This outfit. Cynthia, I got to hear what you have to say. Meat out of the freezer, frozen vegetables out of the freezer, and have a- Cynthia, wake up. You're on TV. You got to try. You can really minimize the amount of oil that you use. All these people look possessed. They're like looking off to the right where someone's threatening them. And the best part of, about it is that there's no oil. You get the properties of the frying. You get the properties of frying. Now she's like the art, Deborah Sharpay, who doesn't have a job. Everyone else has a job. There's no job with Deborah. Deborah's also going for the Monica Lewinsky look. One step process. Whoa, One. Mona Lee. This is Glenn Close as Corella Deville. And pot and everything goes in together and it They're not saying what their experience is, they're just saying what we already know. It goes in the pot, it's just one pot, and then um, it's all, then everything's, it's just all together. It's two easy payments of $39.95, plus shipping and handling, $80 plus shipping and handling, it's probably coming out to like 120 Since I started using the turbo cooker, I've lost over 40 pounds and kept- I'm sorry, what? The turbo cooker, you lost 40 pounds. Oh. Kathy, thank you, thank you, thank you for bringing us the turbo cooker. This is great, it's a complete system. She is so it's uncomfortable. Only... Well, that just, I mean, that. that. Memory, light the corners of my mind. That really, that was great. I mean, the turbo cooker brings back so many memories. To me, that is nostalgic. That's me and my cousin watching infomercials, obsessed. And I always love the food infomercials the most. But Kathy Mitchell really just brought me so much joy at such a dark time in my life. But the turbo cooker did a better job because I feel like that's something I would use. Now, would I actually? No, it's gigantic. It would sit on my stove. I would use it once and then it would be ridiculous. The amount of mess it takes to make everything to put in there to assemble it is awful. But that being said, a much more fun infomercial, I think. I didn't realize how chaotic the 80s were, but I realized that was just a problem with cocaine. Love the trip. If you guys like this, let us know in the comments because we'll make more of this. I love sitting and watching commercials and just going at it. Make sure you like and comment and subscribe. I'm on tour right now, the Al Dente Tour. Go to MateoLaneComedy.com and I have merch as well if you want.